Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to talk about how you can activate your Stripe account. Now we are on your dashboard, so we'll just have to click on activate your account at the left hand side portion of your dashboard. And there you go. Let's first talk about the business details. As you can see, you'll see here the country. Um, and as you may know that Stripe is actually supporting 31 countries and if, and if your country doesn't fall within the 31 countries that Stripe supports then you can actually use Stripe Atlas so let's say for example you want to activate your um, Stripe account for US let's select US and then it would ask for the business details now, for the type of business, it would automatically show here what are the official or recognized business entity in the country. So you have corporation, you have individual, the limited label tales, the nonprofit organization and partnership. Uh, for the requirements, it would also depend on what type of business entity that you are in. Now, um, as you can see, the individual sole proprietor or the single member LLC you may use your social security number um, as your EIN if that's what you use to register your business in um, into IRS. Right, so as soon as you finish entering your business details, let's now go to your details as a sole proprietor. Now you can enter here the whole legal name, first and last name, your job title, if you own 25% of or more of the business, if you're a CEO, or if you have any significant responsibility um, for that specific And then, um, so as what I've said right here, it's not going to be a problem if you are from outside of US because of the phone number here. From the number you can select any country where you are from. So let's say for example, you are from Australia. of social security numbers as you can see um so since it asks for a social security number and um, since you're not from the u.s so you don't have a social security number but you can actually just put four lines here on this page and then type in the home address now i think this is also where the problem would come in because the personal address would also ask the state so since you selected um, US for this Stripe account and it would also um, ask for your home address in US but you can just actually use for the meantime business address just for the meantime and then you can just um, give supporting documents or whatever documents being asked from you by Stripe to confirm your identity so if you have any other business owners then you can add them here and then, oh, this is also important, the statement descriptor. So the statement descriptor would actually be the, the description that your customer will see on their bank statement. So it's very important, okay? Um, because some of the users um, would tend to forget changing the statement descriptor. So that's why it would still show there as a stripe. And then the customer would confuse as to who are they going to contact. Is it really Stripe or is it really your company? But we need you to really change the statement descriptor so that it would not cause confusion to your customers. The support phone number is actually defaulted to US, but there's actually another way for us to change that. I'm gonna teach you later and how to after this video. Now, provide the bank details. This is also very important for payout purposes. So, um, if you have any, if you're confused about the routing number or the account number, you can just hover your mouse here and here. And then, as you can see, you must provide a checking account. So, if you'd like to accept currencies other than USD, you will need to provide an account for each one. But I'm also going to teach you on how to check what are the currencies that you're able to accept as a payment and what are the currencies that you're able to when you pay them out depending on your country okay and then 
click on the of course here in this part you can actually um, select either you want to get a text message for two-step authentication or you want to do on Google Authenticator and then submit your application now some of the countries um, they would actually getting um, trouble on this part here because when they click on submit application they would actually get a prompt that they need to set up to factor authentication but when they go to the bottom of the page this part here is actually missing but there's again another way for us to set up the two-factor authentication which I'm gonna teach you later on so after you're done with everything just click on submit application just so you know that getting a Stripe account is free you don't need to pay anything you can even if you just want to test everything out then you can just have this test account being not activated you don't have to pay for anything because Stripe would actually charge you on, um, on a per successful transaction I'm also going to teach you on how to check your pricing depending on your country alright so once you're done you'll just have to wait for um, any correspondence coming from Stripe for whatever documents that they need from you let's say for example most importantly for actually from from outside of US because we're having US here as an example so if you're outside from US they might ask for other supporting documents that confirm your identity so you just have to wait until your account is activated so once you submit your application you can actually start accepting payments setting up your account and everything however you won't be able to pay the payments out I mean you won't be able to to pay out those payments um, not until your account is fully activated okay so if you want to be on the safe side you can just wait until the activation is done and then uh, while waiting you can also play around with the stripe dashboard and start integrating as well this um, I mean your stripe account to your website all right so as promised I'm gonna teach you the you know another way for you to provide the support number so you can just go here to settings and then just go to account information and you can change the support phone number to whatever phone number that you have here okay so if you're from a different country then there's no it's not really a problem you can just select whatever country you're from and then put the number here all right and put everything here now the other way as well for you to set up two-factor authentication in case you bump into the kind of error even now you can just go to here at the upper right portion the logo your profile and click on profile here and then just click on two-step authentication so click on add authentication step and same thing it would ask you if you want the a phone verification or a Google Authenticator we're also gonna dig deeper um, you know more about the two-step authentication um, in my next videos so that um, at least let's say for example if if you forgot the phone number and then you still have the specific keys provided when you set up your two-factor authentication then it's it's not a problem for you to log into your account